<laughs> so this is the MM130-0. I did a frame review of this not too long ago and I really liked it and I, I said in a couple of videos this thing flies like a flying pizza box and what I mean by that is it just kind of looks like a flying pizza box and because of this extra weight the tuning is a little bit weird uh, it kind of tends to not want to hold this position like if you come into a dive and you try to pull out of it it goes whoa and it wants to way overcompensate so I do have a little bit of tuning left to do but on this one you can kind of see down here at the bottom with these motors they kind of stick down below the frame just a little bit and it's not really bad except for when you're sitting on the ground you're getting ready to take off it starts doing this little number where it's kind of dancing around because those prop nuts are spinning on the ground I could have replaced them with some regular prop nuts and probably been fine but I didn't do it the camera up here on the front came from Diatone USA. The reason I got orange and green is because that's the mount that I could find. It's not it's not my first choice, but I didn't order one, so I that's kind of what I already had laying around. These are DYS uh, 4000 KV motors. They're 1306. You can kind of see it on there. 1306 motors. They do pretty well. The four blade props uh, are um, dowel props. These are the first time. This is the first time I've used four blade props on. Uh, 1306 motors and, and even the first time I used three inch um, four blade props and they actually fly pretty well I think I, I need to get some two blade ones and try those on here and see how it does but I mean for the most part this flies pretty well the only downside of it right now that I have is when I come out of a hard dive it, and I pull back it kind of wants to overcompensate it goes Whoa! and I gotta start throwing it forward to try to get to come back to, to a level position uh, on here I'm using some of these um, they look like this these ESC's they're the uh, Racer Star MS series. Look like this. I'm using the 25 amp ESCs that are on here, and I got them taped inside here, right there, to these arms. Now, if I would have done a, a four and one ESC, I think that would have been a lot better. But I was trying to trying to use the parts that I had, and those turned out okay. They work fine. A four and one would just be a little bit better. Inside here, you can see that's a, a Diatone D Link F3 board, and the nice thing about it is that it has the PDB built into it. So all these ESCs just soldered directly to the board and the um, ESC wires are soldered directly to the board. So from the ESC and flight board, this is a really, really clean build. The only thing that's kind of ugly about it is if you look in here, you can kind of see some of the wires in there. And those are all the uh, wires for the video camera and the video transmitter. I couldn't think of a good way to get those out of the way, but if I were to use a, a board that had the video stuff built into it or an OSD, that stuff would have cleaned up real nice. Back here on the back, of course I lost this little top piece again. I lose this on all of them. But back here I got, I'm using the ET200R and I, I had this mounted underneath here uh, when I first built it. But when I started flying, I crashed and this propeller somehow came up here and hit the wire and yanked out the power wire out of here and it, and it cut off the top of this little plastic piece. And so I ended up having to get a whole new uh, wiring harness and put that on here. And so it's up here on top. I got two zip ties. Whoa, that one's a little loose. I had two zip ties up here to hold these in place so that they, uh, the wires would just not fall down in the props. That is probably the worst thing that could happen on this quad because then you would lose your, your video feed if you're flying FPV. Up here I have the battery wires soldered onto the board and it comes up here and I got, again, I got it all zip tied up here to keep it from going down into the props. Because that's kind of the worst thing that you could do on this, you know, quad is anything going to props. So it comes up here and then it's completely out of the way. Even if I shove it down like this, it still doesn't get down to the props. I got this little piece of uh, sticky rubber here and that's just to help keep the battery up off of these plastic nuts that are holding the flatboard in place and it does it does a real good job it's sticky now and usually after you use it for a week or two it gets kind of dirty and it still is sticky enough to hold the battery in but it doesn't stick quite as much as it used to but you can just get it real wet and it cleans itself up up here in the front i'm using a free sky xsr usually i use the x4r but this one's just a little bit smaller it has antennas that you have to solder onto it or actually they come soldered on the x4r has um, antennas that you can pop off with little connectors and pop them back on if you need to but uh, this has a little bit shorter antennas it still has the required amount of, of wire stripped out on the end so that your it should pick up the 2.4 just fine now unlike the iRange x receiver that I was using this one I've never gotten the low low uh, low RSSI warning with it that I range one it did pretty well I think it just need better antennas but this one is seems to work just as well as my x4 RSB so I'll probably end up using a lot more of these on my future builds 
To make this build a little bit easier, I think one thing I could have done was take this camera and mount it up here to the top plate. That way everything would have been mounted to the top plate and you could basically just build it like this upside down, put this part on, put the screws in, and you're ready to go. The only thing I didn't like about that idea was that when this thing were to lean forward like this to get a decent angle coming out of it, it'd be sticking out of the front of the quadcopter. Well, if it was mounted upside down like this, it'd be sticking outside the quadcopter, but maybe I could have moved it back but then I don't have these uh, spacers here, or these screws are pretty far apart and there's not enough room back here to put it. So anyway, I ended up putting it on the bottom and it made it a little bit more difficult to put it together, uh, the top and the bottom plate and to wire it in. That's why the wiring down there inside in the middle is kind of messy. But anyway, let's, I'll show you some flight footage from this that I took earlier because now it's starting to snow and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll take a look. The only thing, like I said, you'll see a couple of times where when I come out of a dive, it really wants to pull up like this and then I'm fighting it trying to push it back down. Anyway, enjoy this footage. If you have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching. how much of a wide angle that camera was. It was it was a little intense trying to fly and it made it difficult to know how close am I to stuff because it was you could just see it so far out in the sides and it just comes in and you're buzzing through it. <laughs> 